Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where every day I try to take your ears on an adventure to another part of the world as we explore together an area that we may not associate with technology and learn more about those transformational stories that we don't hear about too often in mainstream media. And today's guest is Priyanka Bassin from a company called DoCare. And we're going to explore how technology is helping him transform physician marketing and and what that entails. So buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to New Delhi where he's waiting to speak with us now. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Thanks. Thanks, Neil, for inviting me to the show. About myself, my name is Harshit, and by training, I'm a physician. But last I practiced was internal medicine, probably 15 years ago. And then I thought, of quitting medicine, thinking how can I use my knowledge of medicine for a larger purpose. Was part of two startups, first in the America market, second in the Asia's. Ultimately, both the companies got sold, made some money. Then I decided to move to advertising. Worked in a large global advertising firm for almost seven years in global leadership roles in three different continents. Got the pleasure to travel around the world work with majority of Big Pharma and learn a lot and did some amazing work before I decided to quit the Kuti job and and solve one of the most unsolved problems of physician marketing, which is how to engage with physicians on digital and hence DoCare was born. I love this story. and I, I'm kind of curious how the worlds of advertising, medicine and technology and physicians and how all those actually collided. So can, can I ask that you share your origin story? Uh, where was it your passion for technology came from? And ultimately, what was it that put you on the path you're on today? That's actually, that's actually very interesting. And I call it serendipity. Yeah. It just happened. Right? I'm a firm believer in, in destiny. Right, and the kind of doors that kind of kept opening in front of me, I just kind of keep uh, kept uh, grabbing them. Right, so the first move when I was thinking, how do I use my knowledge of medicine for a larger purpose? Right, and as a doctor, you have absolutely no idea what can you do by not becoming a doctor because you are trained mentally, physically. You are a doctor. You are a doctor. You have to see patients. Right. So I I quit. I took that decision and then was looking for options and came across an interesting idea. How to use technology to improve health of people? I thought, oh, wow, this sounds interesting. Now that I don't have to take care of just one patient, I can look at the entire population now with this technology. So in a way, I was using my knowledge of medicine to train the algorithm to identify improvement opportunities in each and every patient. It was training the technology to become a doctor for a population. So that's how it kind of got started and I got more and more interested into it and things kept moving. And after chatting with uh, what, over 1,600 people, you'd be amazed at how many people say exactly what you said there about the role of serendipity and the uh, the opportunities that open up. And I think it is all about being open to those opportunities and and uh, seizing them when they come along, especially when those happy accidents in life um, appear. It's almost like the universe gives you a little nudge in the right direction when you need it so that we're all where we need to be, when we need to be there. But that path, of course, led you to Dockery, the first global network of physician-only platforms for programmatic marketing. But what is the story behind the company and and what problems did you set out to solve from the beginning? Yeah, so when I was in the uh, industry on the advertising side, we used to work as an organization, work with majority of pharmaceutical brands and consumer healthcare brands, And I used to see how brands are really interested in engaging with physicians on digital media. 
and not just in Asia or Europe, but it is across the globe. But the kind of solutions that existed, I used to call them as a black box marketing, right? You just put in dollars and take a report out of it. What happens in between? You have absolutely no idea, no visibility, no control over it. Right? So I thought, why? Why is it like that? Because on the other hand, I used to work on the consumer brands as well, where everything was so transparent. You could kind of pause a campaign, you could stop a campaign, you can optimize a campaign and see how your brand was benefiting as a result of the digital engagement that you are doing. And so that always caught my attention that why, why there is so much disparity between the physician engagement on digital and consumer engagement on digital. And hence, I kept thinking, thinking, and there was an idea that kind of uh, occurred to me. And it's interesting. It was an idea uh, that I wanted to take to one of the largest social networks in the world. And I managed to reach someone in their team, and he didn't like the idea. And I'm so glad that he didn't like it now, uh, because that kind of led me to pursue the dreams that I am pursuing now. And for people that are listening outside of the industry, can you just possibly set the scene and tell them a little bit more about exactly what physician marketing is, just so we can get everybody on the same page? Mm -hmm. Sure. So uh, consider physicians as one of the uh, target audience or stakeholders for pharmaceutical drugs. So pharmaceutical drugs need to educate the physicians about the new and upcoming therapies and all the drugs that exist in the marketplace so that doctors can analyze and take the right decisions when it is about prescribing it to you. Currently, the way brands communicate to physicians is through sales reps. Sales reps take those information to doctors in terms of visual aid or research material or even organize events. Right? The digital as a form was not used as much in the pre-pandemic phase. At the time of the pandemic, right, when, when the entire world was hit badly and people could not move out, sales reps also could not reach out to doctors. Events could not happen. And that's when the, the true potential of digital as a channel was explored by the pharmaceutical brands and they saw, wow, it is so easy to educate physicians using this channel. And that, that's exactly what Docare does. Fantastic. Absolutely love that. And what about the role of technology? How is that helping transform your business and indeed that entire industry? So technology is the centerpiece. So one of the key reasons why physician marketing in digital hasn't progressed as much as in the consumer marketing is because of the regulated nature of this category. Except two markets in the world, direct-to-consumer communication of prescription drugs is not permitted by law. So a prescription drug cannot advertise like a car or a toothpaste on television or print or on digital. Except two markets, which is the US and New Zealand, where direct-to-consumer communication is permitted. In order to keep it regulatory compliant, we use technology, right? Because only with that, we can say with confidence, yes, this is compliant. So we're using technology for identity resolution, number one, so that we can verify the identity of each viewer who is looking at that communication. And only if the user is identified as a registered physician, he, would be ex he or she would be exposed to a communication from a pharmaceutical brand. That's number one. Number two is personalization. Using data and technology to personalize the communication that is shared with the physician. Like, for example, if a physician is interacting with a patient who he has just diagnosed as someone who has diabetes, the kind of messaging about drugs, about tests, etc., that will be communicated would be specific to that patient in particular. Right? So it is about communicating the right message to the right person at the right time as well. And that's what technology is helping us achieve. 
And I'm curious, what are the biggest challenges in the industry right now, especially from all the conversations that you're having with uh, your clients scattered all over the world? Are, are there similar challenges that uh, everyone's experiencing? The challenges across the globe are similar. See, uh, all the markets are in different stages of evolution of adopting digital as their primary or secondary ways to communicate with physicians. And hence, the level of education and awareness required is different. And what are the untapped potentials and how can we turn those those challenges into opportunities? I would say uh, COVID was the biggest uh, accelerator to convert those challenges to opportunities because it removed kind of lowered all the barriers that existed in the adoption of digital. And even now we see peaks and troughs when there is a first wave or a second wave or a third wave, like that happens. The And as countries goes into lockdown, we see the adoption of digital growing up. And as sales reps start hitting the ground again, the digital expenditure goes a little down. And I appreciate you probably can't share too much, but do you have any revenue or or targets and goals or investment and expansion plans that that you can share just to give listeners an idea of of where you're heading? Uh, Sure. I think uh, within limits. So uh, we managed to make one of our markets profitable in less than 12 months of launching in that market. And and we are looking at continuing that trend in all the markets where we launched. Our second launch market is also on track to become profitable in the next few months. We have raised capital uh, in two rounds without going into details on, on the uh, numbers that we raised it from the people, from the uh, technology, advertising and pharmaceutical industry from across the globe who really believe in the idea, who face this problem with their brands. And we have now started preparing for our first institutional Series A round, which we are hoping to finish before the end of this year. Excellent. And for for people listening who have learned about the global network of physician-only platforms for programmatic marketing today, what is the one thing that you would like those listeners to walk away from that are listening all over the world? Obviously, you're speaking in New Delhi. I'm in the UK, and we've got people listening in 165 countries. What message would you like them to walk away with? The only message I would like to give to the the, the listeners, right, and who especially are engaged in physician marketing is whenever you're creating a campaign using on physicians, never look for vanity metrics. Always look for actionable metrics when you're tracking a campaign. Right? Just to elaborate on this a little more, I have seen often at times the brand teams just keep chasing on impressions or clicks, right? while the objective of the campaign could be completely different, right? And these metrics in particular are called vanity metrics, which can be bought with money. The more money you put, the more these vanity metrics go up, right? It may or may not impact the business or the problem that you're trying to solve. While the actionable metrics is something which has an impact on the business, like for example, it could be a script lift, the increase in the number of scripts that a physician is writing for a particular brand in case. Or if it's a new launch brand, would be the number of trials that, that the campaign managed to generate. Right? Or if it is just kind of a mature brand and you want to keep the awareness levels high, again, clicks doesn't matter a lot. Right? So we often say in this industry, uh, scripts, not clicks, is what matters. Right? And so that's my one singular message to the listeners is always track actionable metrics. Fantastic advice. And we started our conversation today talking about your origin story, uh, the role of serendipity and, and the path that you followed. But before I let you go, a question I always like to ask my guests is, is there a particular song or piece of music that has inspired you in your career, been the soundtrack to it, or maybe just helps you get your head in the zone before going in a, a big meeting or going on stage to deliver a speech? Is, is there a particular song means anything to you? 
So yeah, that's a that's a good one. So there is one song that that particularly inspires me, and and it is kind of full of energy and enthusiasm and an inspiration to do something something difficult, right? And it is from a Bollywood movie called Bhag Milka Bhag. I think it was released probably seven eight years ago, and so uh, the song goes like. Zinda hai tu pyala pura bhar le. So it's like that. What it means is, if you are alive, you should live your life to the fullest. Wow. That's what it definitely means. What a great choice! And I'll be adding that to the playlist so other people can uh, discover that too. Uh, listening all over the world. And finally, for anyone listening that would like to find you online, contact your team. If you've got any questions at all, what's the best starting point? Yeah, they can. Any of your listeners could reach out to us on www.docare.com. I spell it as D-O-C-E-R-E-E.com. So docare.com. And there is a contact us section there. Feel free to send us a message there and we will our team will get in touch with you within 24 hours. We'll add that link to the show notes so people can find you nice and easily. I've loved chatting with you today. I always say that technology works best when it brings people together. I love we're on opposite sides of the world and we've been able to share your story today, the role of serendipity, the path you've been on, so many big takeaways as well. But more than anything, just thank you for taking the time out of your day to sit down and share that story with me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Neil, for inviting me to the show. I love today's guest story. The idea behind the startup, the challenges and untapped potentials and learning more about exactly what physician marketing is to enable me to understand how technology is transforming it. But over to you. How is technology helping transform your life, your business, your industry? Whatever it is, I want to put your voice and where you're listening to on the map. So please email me, techblogwriter at outlook.com. Tweet me at Neil C. Hughes and we'll get your voice on here too. But that's it for another episode. Where does the time go, man? I'll return again tomorrow. But a big thank you for listening. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.